Hello kids, welcome to the class. So today we are going to learn how to do addition of decimal numbers. Before proceeding with the sum, I would like to just share with you that earlier I have seen my kids making a lot of mistake in this question. Please remember it is very easy. You don't have to get scared when you see decimal point. Decimal point you can think of it is like just like a comma or something. You don't have to add or subtract that decimal point. The thing is you just have to put it exactly at its place when doing addition and subtraction you cannot move its place okay don't worry we will be learning about it today in this video so first question i'll take is to add 18.8 and 22.74 this is the first question so first step will be to first write the first decimal number as it is 18.18 then now put the addition sign now what is the step this is the step where many of the kids make the mistake what you have to do is first put the decimal point exactly below the first decimal point done now start putting the digits of this number exactly where it is now 7 is exactly after point put it exactly after the point so it will become below 1 here 4 so 4 here it is 2 here it is 2 done so here just do the addition 8 plus 4 gives you 12 1 carry forward 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 7 9 Point will come. Please don't forget to put the point. 8 plus 2 gives you 10. 1 carry forward. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. So this is your answer. 40.92. Understood? Now I'll take another question. 63.46 plus 82.1. Okay. Now first step is to first write the first number as it is. So, 63.46. Now, in this type of a question is where kids make mistake. What do you observe? It is 82.1. So, what they do? Normally, what is the habit we have? That is to write the start writing number from the right. Right? So, it will be 1.28. And then they add. So, this is wrong. So, to avoid those mistakes, Follow the procedure which I have shared. So, it will be 46. First step, put the point exactly below the first one. Now, where is 1? 1 is exactly after the point. So, put 1 here. Then 2 is before. Then 8 is before. Done. Now, what you observe, there is nothing below 6. So, when there is nothing over there at the end, what you can do is 0. You cannot put the 0 in between. Okay, like by mistakely, you might write 0 here. Like for example, I will show it here. Okay, you might write point here, 1 here, 2 and 8. Okay, there is nothing below 4, so I will just put here 0. Wrong. You can add a 0 only if there is a space after or before. Okay, not in middle. So, that is the reason why you have to arrange the digits properly. So, now just add 6 plus 0, 6, 4 plus 1, 5, point, 3 plus 2, 5, 8 plus 6 gives you 14. That's it. So, answer is 145.56. Now, let's take the last question. Here, I will request you, if possible, take a book and pencil and you can try to solve this question first. Pause the video, write the question. And then solve it and you can recheck it. Okay, so let's first write the first number as it is. 71.86. Done. Now put the addition sign. Now first put the point and arrange the numbers. 3 here, 3 here, 8 here, 6 here. Simply add. 6 plus 3 gives you 9. 8 plus 3 gives you 11. 1 carry forward. So now here you don't worry. You can carry forward in the same way you do without decimal number. You carry forward right on the number next to it. You don't have to get worried when you see decimal or a where to put the one. You have to just carry forward. You 
just have to make sure you are putting the decimal point here. So, 1 is carry forwarded here. So, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 8, 10. 1 carry forward, 1 plus 2. 1 plus 7 gives you 8. 8 plus 6 gives you 14. So, your answer is 140.19. So, again, I will just repeat it. Please don't make a mistake of putting carry forwarded one somewhere here and directly carry forwarding that one down. No, please don't make that mistake. Okay. Now, I hope you have understood this topic. If yes, please do subscribe to my channel. Meet you in the next class. Till then, take care. Tata, bye-bye.